On the 12th, she'll be here uh, hosting the Tonight Show. And the following night, she opens at Ye Little Club in Beverly Hills. <laughs> then she's working, I think, two Sweet 16 parties in Encino. <laughs> and uh, Earl Scheib is opening across. She'll be there at that opening. And would you welcome Miss Joan Rivers? What can I tell you, chic? The chic, rainbow chic. flasher. Uh, <laughs> Hi, sailor. <laughs> I'd heard they'd retired the NBC Peacock this year, but I didn't know you, uh... Well, you buy anything. No, that's very I bought pretty. it from a Mexican widow. <laughs> <laughs> that's very pretty. Thank you. So you just gave all my credits. Happy New Year. We have what, Happy New Year. Yeah, what? another eight and a half six minutes. minutes. Oh, and, uh, I'm sick of it already. What? Three and a half. Three and a half, then Three we're going to cut half. away. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, Gosh! Happy... You I am sick of New Year's. I'm sick of the bicentennial. It hasn't even started. <laughs> I thought it was last year. <laughs> They're I running out of Christmas bicentennial minutes. They're bicentennials. And hasn't somebody said to me, I did my minute a year and a half ago. Yeah. Who's left? Right. They're running out of people, you know. I, they come up with people now. Hi, I'm Stephen Garlmandong. And you say, who's Stephen Garlman? Hi, you know. I'm a hooker from Beverly Glen. <laughs> 200 years ago today. The whole army had trouble. <laughs> I gave the whole army a disease. Yes, anyway. I mean, just... <laughs> That's the way it was 200 That's years ago. That's the way it was. So New Year's... Uh, you... Oh, depressing? Uh, well, first of all, because I, 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 see, I'm so stupid oh. that I'm an optimist. I made a New Year's resolution like a dope, because they're going to fall through. Well, no, that's a yeah. good idea. It shows a positive attitude. Yes, sir. What did you resolve? I'm going to write a book for women that hate to cook called Fear of Frying. Fear of Frying. <laughs> <laughs> Not a heavy, but we have another but, Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do the last? You don't want to throw it all away in 75. <laughs> so, save the big stuff for the new year. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar did you make resolutions? I, well, I made some, but uh, they're easy to keep. Yeah, Edgar wants to have breakfast in bed. I said, good chance, you know, move to the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting no. up. You're right, though. It's, People make them, and they don't keep them. I don't keep. Last year, I tried. I said, I'm going to make love 352 times this year. And Edgar said, put me down for 12. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a rotten year. I'm glad it's gone. <coughs> 76 should be much better, boy, because <coughs> to 74. You know what happens? You know what I think happens? It's the Don't one you feel? Everybody feels that way, oh, yeah. by the way. 76. <laughs> Ooh, I think what it is, it gets depressing, and everybody yes. goes out, and they, they push a little too hard. They say, well, it's, for some reason, it's the last day. We're going to be happy. We're going to have a great time. So you go out already, you know. Are you going out? No, not really. I wasn't asked anywhere. You know how oh. many parties are going? Thanks, Helen Reddy and Jeff. You didn't ask us. Thanks, Harold Robbins. We weren't asked. More to ask. Thanks, probably to your house. We weren't asked. <laughs> Thanks, the Hollywood Squares group. We weren't asked. I'm so depressed. You see? <laughs> Edgar locked the door on me. He can't get it. He's having a party inside. I'm going to be outside knocking. Do you and have I really can... any plans? Now, come on. You have something you must. Well, I see. I don't make last last New Year's Eve. I thought we just remember New York alone. New York, where the ball comes from. Yes. Square. <gasps> this yeah. year they're not going to have the ball. They're going to pass the hat instead. Yes, Mayor, yeah. Mayor Beam slides down yeah. with a hat. With a hat saying, "Help us." We didn't do that in Nebraska. You heard me talk about Nebraska. Yeah. Every New Year's Eve, Uncle Ned would throw a capon off a silo, and it would just <laughs> come down, and hit the ground. It was a small version of a New Year's Eve. No, but you have to do. Last New Year's, Eve, I wanted to be very romantic with Edgar. Yeah. So I got into a black nightgown, and I said to him, "Tonight." You can do anything you want to with me. To me, get on your hands and knees. And I did, and he stood on my back and changed a life. <laughs> <laughs> then it's over. Edgar's not the old romantic. No, huh? not the old romantic. You know, and I don't know why. I try, but it's... You know why? Because we married too late. We married... Oh, I was no chicken, Johnny. Who are we kidding? Well, I, I never ask your age, and I don't you, really want to know. No, and you never will know. No, I wouldn't. You could pull a fingernail out, I'd lie. You know I, what I mean? I wouldn't be enough of a, you know, cad... To ask Cad. You. Cad. Boy, Cad. does that date you? Oh, I, not me. I don't remember anything since the Korean War. <laughs> <laughs> My nurse held me up. She said, "See." <laughs> <laughs> she got a double hernia from holding me. So you, were, you got me married up. late, really? Yeah, I got married. My wedding. But that, they say that's good because you've had all those experiences before oh, you meet somebody. Please, I was so. Uh, my, the hot gift of my bridal shower was a monogram denture cup. I mean, you know, we were not children. <laughs> <laughs> we have cut away, do we? Yes, sir. 
Now, are oh, we going to come? Gonna be new are year. we going to come back? And when we come back? Yes, are we? Well, yeah. During this break? Wow. Oh. It'll be a whole new year. It's a whole new year. You'll see a different change in me. <laughs> okay, but you'll be a year older. You see? Uh, says you, Mister. Oh. <laughs> we'll be back for the New Year's in just a moment. Stay with us. spent a number of New Year's Eves on this show, and uh, I think if we had to say, if we had to say anything, you said it. Let's hope that 1976 is a better year around the world for all everybody in all countries, and that's that's all you can wish. That it's, we should uh, all have it's a happier. Happy. That's all you can wish. It's such a. It is such a. It is such a cliche that you almost feel corny saying Happy New Year, but that's what everybody hopes, that things will just be a little better. But you know, it is like a new beginning. I'm, I'm not, no. I feel much better now. It's like spring. Yeah. It's know? like spring, and we should all have health, and our children should be happy, and nobody should, everyone should mind their own business. How is your health? My health... <laughs> no, it's, it's wonderful. I'm so glad. I, I get very depressed till after New Year's. Now I'm fine again. You see? Just I, a oh, magical yes. moment. Yes, um, I started thanks. I saw no. I started Halloween. Got me crazy. Yeah. I got the blues at Halloween. Why? How holiday blues? Did you see today? It just occurred to me about New Year's Eve. It was in the Los Angeles Times today. Uh, our astronomer friend, Dr. Carl Sagan, uh, had a perspective to put the the time that men have been here in perspective. He had a a cosmic calendar showing that actually, in the last second of the existence of man, everything has happened in one year since the earth was formed, the whole universe was formed, and only in the last second of that whole cosmic calendar was all of man's technology um, mm. and so all of the inventions and everything happened in that little one second, to put it in perspective. It's interesting. Yeah, but it makes you feel a little... They're still messing up. Yeah, after all of that, we're still yeah. not doing it right. I, I got stationery from Tiffany's that you couldn't put the glue on the back. There was no glue. No glue? Yeah, so that's a mess up, that little second. Little things like yeah. that. They were, it was morning stationery. Do you want to hear depressing? Morning stationery? Morning sta stationery. What's You're morning stationery? Well, when somebody dies. Oh, I see. You I thought you meant the time cake. of day. Yeah. I so know. you're writing a condolence note. I thought you meant there was something I didn't know about that you... It's so exclusive, but it's only for morning, writing in the morning. <laughs> I said, boy, chic. that's chic. Bring me my after tea station. This is M-O-U, morning station. Yes. So you go to write notes, you're not feeling cheery to begin with, yeah. right? Now you go to take the envelope, and it doesn't stick. So now you got to put a happy face on the back of the morning. It's a smile. Yeah. Have a nice day. So I, I crossed the eyes. I mean, you know. <laughs> so I, I wrote to Tiffany, and they didn't answer me, so I guess they mislaid the letter, Tiffany. So I thought I'd mention it on the show. Well, I'm glad you wrote to him before today. Yes. Because as of today, it'll cost it's you gonna... 13 cents. <gasps> yes. Girl, starts today to write it. You find that uh, happy news? <laughs> it's a postman. That's a 30% increase. Yeah. A lot of, it's going to be a lot of changes this year. Yeah, the post office has got to get itself together. Yes, You yes. know, they're going to let somebody run that that knows what's, what's going on. Well, uh, It'll be cheaper to phone pretty soon. Oh, not necessarily. They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll jerk that up, too. Yeah? You know, you're, you're going to call information, right. they're going to say to you, why don't you look it up? It's going to cost you a dime to have a recorded message, tell you that. That's something else the phone company wants to do now. They want to yeah. start charging people for calling information. Like, that's not a service they should provide. Yeah. It's, it's very... It's exactly. America's, re America's getting crazy, you know. Yeah. That's why I... And especially the West Coast, which is why I fit in. Yeah, California is a little fat. A shall. little fat. Well, they, they tend to grab on I little groups. I got six groups. gifts from Whips of All Nations. Whips of All Nations. Oh, that's fattish. Hmm? Fattish. Uh, you've seen the shop up in Sunset, the Marquis de Suede? <laughs> I mean, there's little things like that out here that they have. <laughs> My neighbor gave her husband a vasectomy for Christmas. That's... that's strange. <laughs> 
the truth. Well, that shows you the new, you the know, trend. new thinking. The trend. Give him a card, because I love you and you love me. Here's 50 bucks for a vasectomy. I <laughs> think clever. A little rhyme there. Very nice. It was a slip <laughs> knot, so she didn't care. What kind? Uh, <laughs> did you... Do you stay home for Christmas? Oh, uh, Chris, oh, uh, we had the worst Christmas. I'm so glad we're in 76. Oh, was it a disaster? We went to Mexico. Never again, and they can sue me if they want to. The lowest. The now, you filth, don't mean the whole country. I mean the whole country. Oh. I mean, you walk down a street, a man jumps, right? A man jumps out of an alley and says to Eggie, you want to buy a thigh? That's a very... Want to buy a, a thigh? thigh? <laughs> a thigh. A married man. And he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> We have at home, you know, cute. I don't like garden. to travel during Christmas. Well, our friend died. We, we went I'm with a sorry. couple, yeah, I'm sorry. in Mexico. Good luck trying to get a body out. They will not declare. Oh, they won't declare a tourist legally dead till all the luggage has been stolen. I mean, you just have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They had to bury this guy in Mexico. Oh, come on. Man. I'm not kidding, Johnny. I and you wonder why I'm glad we're in '76. Did you ever see a Mexican hearse? It had dice in the window. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> The funeral, after at the funeral, the mortician, is that the name? Yeah. After, the, after the funeral, he gives my friend a box that has a husband's ears and tail in it. I mean, they're crazy. <laughs> crazy. It's different culture. Different culture. <laughs> <laughs> she had him cremated. I mean, it was it, Christmas <coughs> Eve, we took the ashes. Because he was cremated, because she couldn't get him out, you know? And uh, so we sprinkled them all over uh, Mexico City's best restaurant, and nobody noticed. I mean, it was just, you know, it was like, they said, cleaned up, Jose. It was just terrible. Well, you could have put him in the uh, car ashtray and brought him back to the country. <laughs> Who would have known? Yeah, that's kind, of, kind of a clever idea, right? <laughs> but when you go to smoke, you saw. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, Puff Puff. But, uh, <laughs> but it, was, it was not a good Christmas, you yeah. know? I have strange friends. What do you look for? Yeah, I know you have some weird people. I know the girl used to go to school with you. Heidi Abramowitz. I still remember Heidi. Oh, yeah. She married well, though. Well, that's good. Yeah. She got a facelift for Christmas. See, I think You keep saying great. you're going to do that. Any second. Why? You don't uh, have well, any... Oh, grow up, sailor. Are you kidding? I look down. <laughs> grow up, sailor? <laughs> you can put three seeds in here and things will grow. I mean, it's over. Well, you, I don't see any. Oh, well, a little, but where? a little charm line. A little charm line. Isn't that what they say? Those are laugh wrinkles. Yes, sure. I've been hysterical for ten years. No, she, she, remember the first joke you heard as a kid? The lady had so many wrinkles her forehead, she had to screw her hat on? That's one of the <laughs> first jokes I remember. Thank God wrinkles don't hurt. You be screaming. Remember those jokes? <laughs> <laughs> they don't. But, um... <laughs> No, but she, see, she had a face and she looked... Because women, she looks great. Very tight. Is that dangerous? Oh, I don't think so. Except every time she crossed the leg, her mouth opened. <laughs> but, um, but see, she lied to me. I said, did you have it done? Because I, I figure, ask. Yeah. And this liar, she says, no. T woman is talking to the partner here. No, she says. It went to the bathroom, tinkled through her ear. I mean, so obvious. <laughs> well, that's, that's a bad doctor, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell us how to face that. They go to the john, they take off an earring. It's a dead giveaway. <laughs> you know? So you really think you'd do that? Just Anything. To Anything. Here we go again. But I feel 76 is going to be a good year for me. I'm going to fix it all up, pull it all together, why and... Not? Why not? Why not? They come out with a... Uh, General Motors comes out every year with a new model. Why shouldn't women... Uh, Ex or exactly. men, or men for that? Why not? So, except men, no. Men don't have to. Men, here we go. Yeah. Uh, the guy I was in love with the most... We can talk seriously, can't sure. we? I feel very close to you good, tonight. Good, I know. It's an emotional time <laughs> It's an year. emotional time of year. <laughs> The guy I felt the closest was Myron... Thank you. Yes. Myron Silverbaum. Myron Silverbaum. Not much of a name. Well, what Gentile. Yeah, Gentile. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a stupid Gentile, yes. Myron Silverbaum. Well, what did Myron do? What but he was him? very short, and I was mad about it. I mean, he was, but like, short. Short, short, man. He would walk into a pool hall and open his mouth and shoot an eight ball into it. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's short. That's short. Very extremely, extremely you know small. You how short he was? Well, how short Summer was he? Summer vacation. Yeah. He worked at the circus. They used to shoot him out of a pistol. I mean, that's a short... Oh, uh, you don't find a man of that caliber very often, either. <laughs> oh, sure. If you'd have thought of that bad joke, you'd have done it. <laughs> Because I, I went out with strange guys. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Myron's... I went out with a dentist. 38 years old. He had no patience. So he gave himself braces. You know. <laughs> so he used to give me a hickey. I'd have 12 stitches. In the neck. I mean, you know, I was like, you go home to your mother. What's up? Nothing. You know. I went out with strange people I dated. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a happy... Happy 1976. Oh, I really. hope we all have a great 76. We will. Point. It's going to be yeah. bicentennial, but... Bicentennial. Why not? Better to live here and be able to...
about this bicentennial. They'll live somewhere else where they'll shoot you if you say against them. Absolutely. Right? Okay. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. We're back. You know, it's nice to not only see you here um, as my first guest in 1976, but I understand your father is my out here father with you tonight. Dr. Malinsky and my friend Mrs. Harris, and it's nice to have him here. I think that's with super. Me. So, Thanks. Yeah. welcome. Yeah. And I should also say, I'm just doing kidding about Mexico. I know. My because... friend didn't die. We saved him. Oh, yes. Good. We had to pump out his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> the food you can talk about.